What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jay, and we're here with some more Pokemon Sword and Shield news. It's just got Gigantamax stuff that just got released. I'm a little late, but we're gonna ignore that for now. Um, I have a question for y'all. Did y'all know that ba Bakugan is making a comeback? Did y'all know Bakugan was making a comeback? I didn't know. I for sure didn't know. I didn't know Bakugan and Digimon were getting together to make this beautiful boy right here. I did not know that. He looks like Drago, and Agumon had a freaking baby a gorgeous baby mind you this baby is here he's huge he looking like a godzilla killer um uh we got freaking gigantamax charizard right here i like the design from the neck from the neck like from mid body it looks like drago to me in my opinion and then the bottom it looks like agumon like the feet the tail the the belly it's agumon drago had a baby oh my god and then what is it the wings um <laughs> Well, I feel like they could have made him more wing-like. I feel like they could have definitely made him bigger. Because the boy has a big old body right here. And it looked like he forgot wing day. Because in comparison to his body, they, they look a little bit small. I mean, here they look freaking huge. But when he's just chilling, it's like a... <laughs> it's just an... <laughs> um, but your boy got a G-Max move. G-Max Wildfire. Um, he's spitting all the hot bars. Um, he doesn't just deal damage to an opponent opponent when it hits it also continues to deal damage for four turns to any pokemon that isn't fire type so it's a little type of fire spin-esque type deal just doesn't affect fire types but fire spin does so i feel i see what they did there i see i see wildfire that's a nice effect to have i thought i mean it would have been cool i guess it would, uh, i could see it i mean i mean it's okay it's the moves find the way it is i was thinking about like maybe could it burn instead of deal damage for four turns but i mean it's, it's still it's still pretty lit the boy pretty boy boy's looking beautiful boy look beautiful and then we have meowth that's right coming up the longest tallest cat in the history of pokemon it's your boy meowth um gigantamax meowth i am like loving this man when the first time i saw him like i saw him from like literally the middle of him up and I was like, wait a minute, they're not showing the bottom. So the bottom must be a growl. Because in my head, as soon as I saw this man, I thought of cat and dog. Cat dog. Cat dog. This is definitely cat dog. And then we go, boop, feet. There's feet. Not. A, I thought it was a growl. I thought he was going to be chilling there, just hanging around, doing some bendable stuff. No. Um, so we got Gigantamax Meowth. And he's a, he's received as an early purchase bonus. And you know your boy already scooped up sword because i pre-ordered that bad boy so we are gonna have a gigantamax meowth on the channel which is pretty freaking exciting i do love this boy he's a dullest cat i don't know why game freak is freaking obsessed with elongating elongating mons we have we had executor short plump dragon type <laughs> like what and then we have this long cat right here we have beautiful gigantamax meowth um i have a a, a thing that i was thinking question is that do you guys think that if you evolve this Meowth, will the Persian also have a special type of Gigantamax form? I feel I could see it happening just for that Meowth. Um, not for all Meowths, but just this one specifically. Um, I could see it. I also couldn't see it, but I definitely it would be cool if they did do like a Persian because, you know, they did a Lola Persian and Lola Meowth. So I feel like they got to do Gigantamax meowth and a gigantamax persian make them special i feel like they have to they have to i mean it's giovanni's bad boy come on you got to you guys are showing all this gen one love you gotta you gotta go all the way and then its move is g max gold rush so it deals damage but the scatter of coins gives you a lot of in-game cash so mm, just playing through it's not gonna mean that much but like if you're a nuzlocking sword and shield like that that's gonna come in clutch because you know money money is a hustle baby you gotta you gotta get that cash because it's not enough cash when you nuzlocke it's like all of you just you just blow it all off out of nowhere <laughs> i just run through cash i can't i can't i can't now we have ladies and gentlemen brace yourself we got dad bod in the building dad bod in the building gigantamax pikachu so if you have play records from pokemon let's go pikachu on your nintendo switch you will be able to get a special pikachu in sword and shield so me being the smart boy that i am i already had let's go pikachu so guess what i'm getting this fat cute little boy right here he's so he's so fluffy he's so he's so fluffy um <laughs> but he's cute he's fat it's back to like when i got my first pokemon card when i was like five years old and it was pikachu it's the same pikachu type as arc the only thing they need to do is like work on this shading of the tail right here because this drawing is kind of doo-doo right here it just goes oh my god and then 
Uh, so they need to fix that a little bit. But in the game, he looks pretty solid. I like that. I like that. Maybe it'll make it a little bit darker because the contrast is like out of this world. Um, so it's move G Max Volt Crash. It not only deals damage, but it paralyzes all opponents. And yes, it paralyzes ground types, which is very interesting because does that mean Volt Crash itself is like it affects ground types? Um, or like I don't know how that move is going to work because you see a Muzzle right here, it got per 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 paralyzed if i could speak it right paralyzed they got paralyzed so what is this new dynamic with ground and electric i don't know can you like paralyze ground types now is that what's going on i i don't know so that's interesting that's interesting to see just a little speculation right there i wonder what's going down with that um but this boy is looking beautiful i'm excited to have this man and then we have the other spectrum of let's go let's 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 go we have eevee and notice how my voice said eevee there's nothing here. Dynamax Eevee, if you go Let's Go Eevee, I'm glad it didn't because Eevee looks like it got possessed by like an evil demon. It looks like it got possessed by Chucky and grew some fur. That's all I can say about it. That's what it looks like because your boy looks the same except for his evil expression on his face, which is like freaking freaky. And then it got a little fluff in its ears right here. Um, and it got a fluff of your mane. That's it. Clap it up for that. Not really, because it's not. It's nothing. It's nothing. I'm not impressed by Eevee at all. I mean, it's cute, but I do not like this evil expression on his face, bro. It's kind of creepy. And I just realized that the Gigantamax form gains HP, which is interesting. I didn't know it boosted all the stats and stuff. Uh, maybe I did know that and I just forgot, but that's interesting to see because it went from 130 to 195, which is like a significant boost low key and then it gets g max cuddle so it's just gonna smuggle you to death um not smuggle snuggle you to death it's gonna smuggle you out the country <laughs> um deals damage but when it hits it um guarantees that the opposite gender of the ev will become infatuated so it's kind of like ch cute charm but instead of waiting to get hit you instead deal the damage and boom bada bing you are in love if you are of opposite gender so as, uh, as uh, Eevee is okay as always. It's just Eevee. Eevee's always gonna be decent. It's not gonna be nothing. Nothing's gonna be popping. Nothing. Eevee's just Eevee. It's a normal type. It's bland. Blech. So that's my thoughts on Eevee. Now we got the freaking <laughs> out of left field, out of nowhere. That's how you know Game Freak is in love with Gen One because you got freaking Butterfree right here. I like the design for Butterfree. I really do. I like the wings. The wings remind me of Seven Deadly Sins. Um, your boy Gluxinia. The fairy king from 3,000 years ago. If you guys don't watch that, then the reference just went way over your head, and I just hit my bun, and now I have a piece of hair that's just flapping around on the back of my head right here. We're gonna ignore it. Um, reminds me of the Seven Deadly Sins, but I really do like the design. I do. I don't know if this now makes Butterfree viable in uh, battles. Now I have no idea. I, don't, I like the little purple stuff right here, though. That's pretty. That's pretty fire. I like that. Um, uh, how much? So 120 to 180. Okay, so it looks like Gigantamax gives you like 60 plus points of HP. Does it give you 60 plus points in each stat? I don't know. Um, it has G Max Befuddle. That's its move, and so it deals damage, but it will also um, either poison you, paralyze you, or make you fall asleep. So in essence, it's actually just a try attack. Um, instead of freeze and burn and paralysis, it has poison, sleep, and paralysis, which is like um. What's that? What's that ability that most like bugs or grass types have? Um, effect spore. It's kind of like effect spore, but you're throwing it at somebody instead. Instead of waiting to get hit, kind of like the cute, kind of like Eevee's uh, move, where it's like cute charm, but you're throwing it at them instead of waiting to get hit. Which is interesting. It looks like they're just picking up abilities and then swoop swapping them and giving them a nice little name, Befuddle and uh, whatever Eevee's was. I, I look. I just read Eevee's. That's how much I don't care about <laughs> Eevee. Um, but yeah. I kind of like this. I kind of like it. The boy look kind of clean. I like Butterfree cleaned up. I like you. I like you. But let me know what your thoughts are on all the Gigantamax forms. What is your favorite one? I have to say, ranking them, I would have to go Meowth. I I just, this boy is just looking pretty clean and fire. I just, I just like him. I like Meowth. And then I have to go Pikachu because this boy, this dad bod is just making me a little, whew, 
Oh, oh, oh my god oh my god and then we have charizard of course charizard looking pretty clean i do like him i really do um he already has enough love he has two mega evolutions and a freaking gigantamax form and his shiny is dope as dope as heck yeah so charizard always be getting love gen 1 love where's venusaur and blastoise is what i want to know do these boys get because you got it's a trio i know this is like the champions ace and whatnot but come on bro you got it you gotta have the other two. You have to. You gotta match it. I wonder how many Gigantamax forms there are. But, like I said, let me know what your favorite Gigantamax form is out of the ones released. Or, if it's not, if none of these are your favorite, which is understandable. Um, let me know which ones that were previously released. Let me know which ones you guys like. Because, you know, there's there's some stuff going around. It's kind of exciting. I'm, I am I really like the Meowth, though. I'm sticking with my boy Meowth. I really do like him. He's, he's just, I don't know. He's just, ah. He's just awesome. Um, but um, without further ado, we're going to end the video. Let me know your thoughts. Also, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and press that subscribe button, baby. Also, um, help me this video get to 10 likes. 10 likes, guys. Can we do it? Can we do it? We can crush it. We can crush it. Um, but I am your boy, Jay. And without further ado, I'm going to catch y'all next time. Bye.